You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we'll be recapping Raw from February 5th. Yeah. Decent show. It was pretty good. I yeah. liked it. I liked it. Were we two weeks away? We don't know when the Elimination Chamber is. There was no established date? No, they know. Oh, they we know. know. Okay. I didn't we know if they know. just didn't talk about it on the show. Oh, I'm sure it's come up on the screen. But neither of us apparently have uh, bothered to actually look at what it says. Well, I think, you know, you kind of just I'm not wrong. throwing that stuff out oh, yeah. as soon as it pops up on the screen because it's going to be hammered into the ground. Well, that's that's the main storyline for the next few weeks. February 25th. Now we know. So two weeks from this upcoming Sunday. Yes. So that's three weeks from three yesterday. Weeks from the, yes. But yeah, no, good show. Mm-hmm. Um, Good main event. Weren't left scratching our heads this week. Yeah, it's true. Like you had said. And uh, you know, last week was a little confusing. But whatever. Yeah. I mean it, it the roster did feel a little empty this week. Yeah. Well, even though, you know, more people were on the show this week than they were last <laughs> it's week. It's true. We got what, three three or four women's segments, maybe even five. Yeah, the entire women's roster was showcased, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It had to have been. Mm-hmm. Um, Seth was on the show. Jason Jordan was on the show. Yes. Um, we missed Heath Slater and Rhino, though. Yeah. But we got the entirety of Titus Worldwide. We did. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, let's let's get into this, baby. Let's go. All right. So, the show opened with uh, Michael Cole announcing that Roman Reigns will be facing Bray Wyatt mm-hmm. for one of the spots in the Elimination Chamber match. And uh, that's how the show opened. Yeah. So... Before the match starts, which is going to be our opening contest between mm-hmm. Bray Wyatt and Roman Reigns, we get a little interview with their camera. Kind of. Or well, whatever was, you want to call it. Was it was one of Bray Wyatt's normal segments, and then it looked like Reigns was just talking into a camera. Yeah, but they felt a little more, it felt clearer this week. It didn't feel like... Oh, no, I, I know that. I'm just saying that the appearance with Bray was oh, oh, his normal... Yeah. But what he was saying was as as if he was a real human. Yeah, it was understandable. I know. It yeah. wasn't backwards yeah, talk. Yeah, because he, uh, he spoke about him winning the Elimination Chamber last year. Yes, and that and, was his greatest moment. Mm-hmm. And his WrestleMania match was terrible. That's but true. But he didn't mention that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he called Roman a failure as well. Mm-hmm. And, and then... He's obviously. gonna put him out of his misery. Yeah, I think that's what it was. <laughs> and then mm-hmm. Roman did his. Yep. Which I kind of honestly wasn't really expecting. Uh, I kind of figured it'd just be wide and that's it. Because yeah. it didn't feel like one of those new phone things. It just felt like... But that's the way it was meant to be. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it, it felt cleaner. It it, it was more perfect, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, I understand the, the reason behind it because it is kind of cool. It's, you know, modern. Yeah. Rather than, oh, here comes... Bray Wyatt, let's see what he has to say. Yeah. No, we don't, we it, don't it do feel, that it stuff It feels anymore. more natural. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and then when Roman goes, he mm-hmm. says that Bray Wyatt is his nemesis, apparently. It's the feud that's nev- never going to end. It's, well, it's true. Throughout because, the whole match, they constantly brought up the history between the two of them. Well, it's because it's someone that the WWE would like to think is their top baby face mm-hmm. against someone that they'd like to believe is one of their top heels. Yeah. So um, <laughs> Somebody posted his win-loss record for the last like five years who bray yes it's It's, probably very bad not very good no i would imagine not Um, (laughs) sometimes wins and losses matter and sometimes they don't apparently yeah exactly well it's you know he's the eater of pins yeah well he he was world champion last year he's worse than carl anderson let's just put it that way (laughs) um yeah but yeah roman also says that tonight is the first part of his journey to wrestlemania He's going to go through uh, Bray Wyatt, then he's going to go through everyone at the Elimination Chamber, and then he's going to face the Beast at yep. WrestleMania. And then go through him. Right into Vince. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, then the match him. actually starts. <laughs> um, yeah, this I mean, it was a good, decent match. Yeah. These... Was, they haven't worked with each other in a while. No. So it felt a little more fresh than when we were seeing it every week. Mm-hmm. Um, so... And I was thinking about this last night. It seems like the more obvious the match stipulate or the more obvious the outcome of the match is, the worse they make Roman look during the match. I guess. Because obviously he was gonna win. Yeah. So it gave they know, made man. Bray No, come on. They made No 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 not that he wasn't gonna win, that he got made 
to look worse. No, he didn't look worse. Oh, oh his, his opponent? opponent looked oh, better. Oh, okay. I thought because you meant Bray him. Because Bray looked like, very good in this so. match, and Roman made Bray look very good. Yeah, you know, um, except for the finish. But, or the, before but, the finish. Yes, but you, that's what I mean. Okay, though, I Because gotcha. obviously Roman's going to win. Mm-hmm. So can they kind of, when, when it's obvious, I think they f- want to build more of a, like an underdoggy tone to Roman. Mm-hmm. So that's I think that was the whole point of it, though. Okay, and I got what you're saying. Because when the match is obvious, who's going to... Or not obvious, like, with the matches with The Miz, it seems like they he doesn't book them. Or well, we kind of expected Roman to win Yeah, those. exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I think that that has a lot to do mm-hmm. with it. They, they book according to how obvious the match is, yeah. I guess. Freaking Michael Cole. What? So Bray Wyatt was laying on the apron, and uh-huh. Roman gets out of the ring, and he's going for his drive-by, and uh, Ro- Michael's like, oh, I can't, I can't imagine what he's going to do next. I was like, you son of a bitch. You call this move every week screaming it. <laughs> and then he did like, it don't anyway. give me this crap. No, that's when Bray actually hit him. He didn't actually pull I, off the drive-by. I it thought, might have been later in the no, match. He, he pulled went, it off. He went for the drive-by, yeah. and he goes, Roman's going <laughs> for the drive-by, <laughs> okay. but Bray... Okay. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Yeah, he didn't actually hit it. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, so uh, the finish of this match saw Roman kick out of a sister Abigail. Yeah, I-, I didn't really like this. I mean, this put away John Cena last year. It did very quickly, and, and we that were very was in surprised. The triple threat. Yeah. Well, on it was. SmackDown? It was also in the or in the elimination chamber because yeah, yeah. um, Bray pinned Cena. He wasn't the last one eliminated, I think. No, but. He actually he might have yep, been. Yeah, it's possible. But and, but and then he pinned him on SmackDown mm-hmm. the triple threat with yes. the Styles, right? Yeah. So, so um so that a little was little weird there. Yeah. So Reigns kicks out. Mm-hmm. Um the match goes on a little longer. He goes uh Bray goes for another sister Abigail. Uh Roman reverses it, hits him with a Superman punch and then a spear at some point, and then he pins him. Yeah, it didn't look like a very pretty spear. It looked like he hit Bray pretty high. So high. Yeah, every single. time. I was time like, oh no, now. we're gonna get a Shane McMahon moment again. Yeah, I don't know why, but he's. I guess maybe he's used to mm. hitting him on Braun, where his <laughs> targets so. higher. Um. Oh, and throughout the match, we got to see Matt Hardy looking at the TV yeah. from an awkward angle. Mm. But he kept broken on... Matt Hardy may watch TV that way. <laughs> he may be the only person that lot you know actually watches TV from an angle. He was giggling the whole time too. <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> so after the match, Roman goes to leave. Mm. Ray Wyatt's laying in the ring, and he's facing the entrance. And then Matt Hardy appears from out of nowhere. And then he attacks, or Bray goes to attack mm-hmm. Matt, but he's unsuccessful. Matt hits him with the twist of fate, yep. and that was it. That's it. Yep. That was that. Mm-hmm. So it was. It wasn't a bad segment to start. It was actually a match, like no, you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so. no, never going to complain when the show starts with a match. Mm-hmm. And it's only Stephanie's music doesn't play. <laughs> <laughs> so we go backstage, and uh, Jason Jordan and Seth Rollins were backstage. Mm-hmm. And I think it was announced earlier in the night that they would get a their it, rematch it was their, their guarantee. last it was their it was their rematch for the title and right seth Rollins' last uh opportunity at the tag team that's titles. it okay um, yeah and then rollins obviously concerned about jason jordan's health mm-hmm. after what had happened at the royal rumble yeah and um you know jordan says oh i've been cleared by the doctors i'm fine fine and then seth's like i don't want to go out there and you're you know sitting on the ring steps again mm-hmm. this is about us buddy we're a team and it was like that's a little weird from seth but hey whatever well th- it's kind of been his narrative though I, I throughout don't, the story i think had jordan's injuries not been serious it would have been prolonged a little longer oh but this be- happening yeah, yeah yeah exactly mm-hmm. it's true well they would have they would probably would have held the titles titles uh, yeah longer after that was rumble the case. yeah yeah. Um, but yeah, basically, like you said, Seth said that we're a team. Tonight's mm-hmm. about us, yep. not about um, the individual. And that since this is our last chance, we got to make sure we get it done. Yeah. Um, all right. So up next was a little weird <laughs> segment. So we come back from commercial and uh, the club is out at ringside. Yeah. And then we see Balor come out. Mm-hmm. And then the revival comes out and they say, what, it was going to be Scott Dawson against mystery opponent I mean, no it was supposed to be balor against dawson it was I'm pretty sure because they announced both of them as competitors oh that's right okay and yes. then and then just... they start talking the revival that is how yeah, they came down with a microphone yeah, yeah. They're, they're so they're such good team and they work together mm-hmm. and so they say how about we make this a tag team match instead 
which basically just says we don't trust them as singles competitors. We have to make this a tag Tech, match. Yeah. And since Finn doesn't normally work tag matches unless he needs to, I guess this is just what we're going to yeah, do. Was, it was just weird. Yeah. Like, this is all you have for Finn right now? I mean, I get because of what we learned going into next week. Well, but. that and the fact that I guess it it adds variety to having the revival against the club. Yeah, I figured you were going to bring somebody else. I figured uh, the club was going to say, hey, let's make this a six-man that's, tag. You guys pick a I partner. Was thinking. Yeah. yeah. But that but wasn't then, the case. Then yeah, there was nobody really. Oh, left there's no to one too big. Yeah, Unless I mean, they had picked... Elias not been in the main event, that would have been Roman wrestled two matches. Yes. Well, we will get to that <laughs> in a little bit. We will get to that. Anyway. Yeah. Um. So yeah, this was. Oh, you didn't even write the match down, did you? Oh no, you no, did. did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It, it wasn't. It no, wasn't no, 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 no. It was the revival against the club, basically. Yeah. Except for you didn't have Gallows kicking people in the head. Nah, he was just um, outside the ring being a good, good brother. Oh yeah, um, Michael Cole was s- screamed too sweet before they went to commercial at one point. <laughs> and Corey was like, "Oh, Michael, <laughs> <laughs> so ashamed." <laughs> it's true. Um, so yeah, uh, obviously, or I guess pretty obviously, the club, mm. or I should say Finn and Carl Anderson pick up the victory. Yep. Um, at first I was concerned about the choice of Anderson because we know his <laughs> He's history. He's going to eat the pin. He's going to eat the pin. So I guess that'd be the easiest way to get the revival. Oh no, no, hands down the best part in the match is when Carl Anderson jumped and yelled, hi-ya! <laughs> oh, and he kicked him? <laughs> <laughs> and then he hashtagged it on Twitter. It was so good. <laughs> It, it was uh, it's not racist he has an asian wife somebody wrote that and i was like oh god <laughs> but yeah I, I don't remember which one but one of that was in the corner and then that he did a high jump kick and <laughs> screamed that uh, it was pretty then, funny yeah finn hit the coup de gras on dawson right mm-hmm. that and was that, that was the end of the match yeah um so yeah yeah and uh, then you could see carl anderson hold um dash on the outside oh like, right very right, right, faintly yes. trying to get back get into back the into ring. ring yeah um, then we have a backstage segment. This is actually pretty good. I like this. Yeah, it made sense. Um, so Sasha was watching the match from last week with her and Asuka. Not on the WWE Network, because what, does it take a month for it to uh, yeah, upload? Yeah, I don't know. She was probably watching <laughs> it on YouTube. Or Hulu. Yeah. Um, and was it? Bailey walks in, right? Mm-hmm. And she asked for advice on the match. Well, Sasha said that I've watched this oh, 20 right, right. times. I know what, what I, I have I to have do. I have a plan now. Yeah. And then Bailey comes in and says, well, well, what's your plan? You know, can you give me some pointers here? Because yeah, she has a match with yeah. Asuka later on. And then she's like, well, I'm not really giving away any of my secrets. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, you know, if anybody's going to beat her, it's going to be me. And then Bailey says, well, I can beat you. So I can beat Asuka yep. as well. Yeah. And that's what she says. Um, so is this just going to continue throughout history? Or are we going to have... Yes. Bailey? Yeah. Is sure. this, is, that's fine. It's like Kevin Owens against Sami Zayn. Yeah, well, no, they haven't had a match though on the main roster. So, like it's a building, few, I know but it's building. it was building at SummerSlam too, and then it just left. I think it was SummerSlam, whenever That's it was. Fine. No, but, I know, but I mean, because uh, if they set it up now, it would be say, good to do that in Elimination Chamber. Well, ha- no, they're, they're going to do something. They, yeah, Sasha yeah. eliminated Bailey from the Rumble, right? right. Oh yeah, they brought on, that up too. It's yeah, going to yeah, keep yeah. on building. It's going to end up being um, Sasha wins the title at. Uh, elimination chamber she's mm-hmm. gonna face oscar let's say for argument's sake she's able to beat oscar now do we know oscar is definitely yeah. when was oh. that said because i don't uh, all right we're gonna get into that when we yes that wasn't said yes it wasn't but kurt angle was fumbling Insisting. on his words oh no that was horrible yeah it was bad um, i actually now that i think you're, you're right though yeah because it was never right. announced we'll get into that maybe in, it was announced on like I, on I like think um, it was. social media i don't think and it they was. didn't like acknowledge it on the show accidentally but they implied that she was facing whoever won at the elimination right, let, let's let's get into it when we get there we got one more segment to get to. okay that's uh, that's kind of funny though yeah um so up next they prove us wrong or prove me wrong well to be fair it's still early to tell i guess that's true so um they had a cruiserweight tag match on raw because mm-hmm. um, i had theorized that maybe they're trying to move them off of raw to get I guess more legitimacy out of the brand because yeah. they kind of trivialize them on, on Raw. Raw. 
Yeah. Um, but what they did, they had Cedric Alexander and Mustafa Ali mm-hmm. against Tony Nese and Drew Gulak. Yep. Um, pretty much the only cruiserweights that are available to do tag matches at this point in <laughs> Basically. time. Basically. And they had... Um, Rockstar Spud, a.k.a. Drake... Ma- or Drake Maverick, a.k.a. Rockstar that guy. Spud. Okay, I was trying to think of his name. Yeah. Um, he's pretty good, though, on the mic. Oh, no, I, he, he, he's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, he's, he's very comfortable. He mm-hmm. knows what he's doing. The problem is his name. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> they should have just kept it. I don't know if they had a problem with, um, with um, what's it called, trademarks or whatever. But I, uh, I could have swore that Impact well, released all of their. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, I'm guessing it went to all previous talent as well. Yeah, but unless WWE it, wants to trademark everything, I that's why that's we got true. Woken Matt Hardy yeah. instead of Broken, Broken Matt Hardy. Yeah, I guess that's true. That's them. Um, but so, yeah, this was the faces dumb. winning. Alexander hit oh, a yeah. lumbar check on Gulak. The selling was absolutely fantastic because they slow it and sh- that move show it in fantastic. slow motion. And you see Drew Gulak coming down. And he's like, where is the ground? Yeah. That move is great. Cedric though. landed awkwardly on his shoulder in the oh, match. Oh, yeah, during the match. Yeah. It was like almost head first, but it was shoulder mm-hmm. first. And then he was selling it toward the end. Mm-hmm. So, oh, well, And then uh, I think it was Graves who said that he had picked um, Cedric as a favorite until mm-hmm. that happened. Yeah. It's got internal injuries. Yeah. Yeah. There's got to be something going on <laughs> on the inside there. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so now you can talk about what you were ta- we were talking about before. Yeah, okay, so Kurt Angle comes out to uh, announce the uh, participants of the Elimination Chamber match. Mm-hmm. Obviously, we know Alexa Bliss will be in it because it'll be for her women's title. Yes. Um, and then they announce them in order. We have Alexa Bliss, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, Bailey. Yep. Mandy Rose. Yep. Mickey James. Mm-hmm. Sonya Deville. And, of course, Sasha Banks. Yes. Um. You know, you're wondering why I left Nia Jax off of that yeah, he list. Did, he did say that. <laughs> um, because she will face uh, Asuka at the pay-per-view. Mm-hmm. And if she wins, she will be added to the the Raw Women's title match, and well, it will be a triple threat, right? Well, He's- he said that he'll be added to As- she will be added to Asuka's match. I think that's the word he used. Yeah. So, but he said for the Raw Women's title afterward. I'm sure he did. I think that might have been a mistake. Yeah. That he was just assuming, or or they... Obviously, that's going to be what's going to happen. Well, uh, hold up. Because the plans were Nia Jax versus Alexa Bliss at WrestleMania. Well, obviously, that didn't happen because she didn't win the Rumble. No, but Asuka can face Charlotte. It's true. I that, don't, that would be... That's the sensible, sensible That would match. make sense. I don't think that that's going to happen now, the way they've been booking everything. Unless they said, oh, Angle screwed up. Let's just do it this way. Well, no, not necessarily that. I think that... They probably don't want to pull Asuka from Raw either. Yeah, exactly. I think that has a lot to do with it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Even though SmackDown needs a hell of a lot of work. Yeah, but it, it, it's... It's not going to change off of one superstar. You're absolutely correct. It's the 100% the writing. So it really doesn't matter who's mm-hmm. there because you would think that Becky and Charlotte would be able to hold everything together. Yeah. If done properly. Wow, right. Um, so anyway, it, it just it feels like they're booking to either Sasha or Bailey facing Asuka mm-hmm. at WrestleMania. I don't think Asuka's going to lose to Nia Jax at uh, elimination no, she's going to lose a streak to Ronda Rousey. Or if she loses at WrestleMania. Yeah. But you would think the way she's going, she would win the title. Yeah. Um, but uh, Bliss comes out. This was actually good. I liked this. Was, yeah, yeah, this was a good, good she segment. She comes out part and of the wants to know why the women's elimination chamber match is not treated like the men's elimination chamber match. Mm-hmm. Since the men's is to determine a number one contender to face a champion at WrestleMania. And this one's for the championship. And she brought up that, you know, I thought this was all about the men and women being treated equally. And mm-hmm. obviously it's not. And then what did she call Kurt Angle sexist? Yes, right? this was very good because <laughs> yeah. she was making a very good Oh, point. yeah, and he was bumbling his word, oh, yeah. fumbling mm-hmm. and everything. Kurt Angle was having trouble. Uh, uh, uh. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, basically, to retort that, he mm-hmm. just asked the fans what they think. Well, he first said that you haven't defended your title since, what, TLC, right? Also a good point, yeah, yeah since October. But, I mean, I, this is this is WWE. What happened? Naomi couldn't defend her title for 30 days. Mm-hmm. Oh, we stripped her of it. Yep. Well, it's not that... Because Alexa could. Right. She just didn't. She didn't, yeah. yeah. So it's not her fault. It's true. Because she did mention that Kurt Angle makes the matches. Yeah. Oh, yeah after yeah, he said right. that. Yes, yes. She said, I don't make the matches you yeah. do. That's right. So at least that kind of made sense. Mm-hmm. But any yeah. hoo-ha. 
It was, like I said, he asked the fans what they wanted. They said, yes, they want the Elimination Chamber match before the title, blah, blah, blah. Um, and uh, that was it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I did like Alexa coming out, making a good point, and uh, kind of calling Kurt Angle a hypocrite, which yeah. is kind of funny. So, yeah. So, yeah. And then the crowd reaction wasn't even that great. <laughs> um, the first time, no. The yeah. second time, it was a little. Because mm-hmm. they kind of knew what was going on at right. that point. <clears throat> but yeah. yeah. Um, I didn't see the Cena thing. I uh, I honestly thought it was the same thing. Yeah. But it wasn't, obviously, because mm-hmm. you said that he won against Finn last week. Oh, uh, okay. Um, but yeah, he basically said that now that I'm in the Elimination Chamber match, all I have to do is win it, and then I'll face Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. I said, it Makes was, sense. He was wearing the same clothes, so it was very easy to believe that it was the same thing. I gotcha. Um, so, I yeah. gotcha. All right, then we had the Black History Month. Uh, video with what Roman Reigns and Mark Henry was there, right? They were visiting the museum in Tennessee. Yeah. yeah. Um. You. Uh, we're just gonna have the same thing every week for the yeah. next mm, yeah. month, right? Um. So mm-hmm. it'll happen tonight. It'll happen next week. Blah blah mm-hmm. blah. Uh. Anyway. Uh. So up next we have Oscar versus Bailey. Um. This was good. This was a good match. Um. We saw NXT Bailey for the first time on the main roster. You pretty mean, much. You mean someone who actually was competent and trying to actually win a match yeah. instead of just being there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was nice. But uh, I mean, there was a fire. That, that there. has definitely been the positive of Asuka on the main roster. Well, she had, she puts people to the test. Yes, because she made Emma look very good mm-hmm. in the first two matches. Uh, Sasha last week. Yep. Nia Jax obviously kind of really hasn't gained anything. No, from but they did that her. first. Well, we know they changed on the drop of the dime yeah exactly um anyway but yeah this was a good match very entertaining Mm -hmm. um wasn't as dangerous looking as last week's which was nice bailey didn't almost kill herself like sasha did Mm -hmm. um but it was was a good match um bailey almost got her on several occasions Mm -hmm. and then unfortunately was uh eventually had to succumb to the uh arm uh the arm arm bar bar. Yeah, yeah and uh so yeah yep it 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 was a good match. Yeah, so. and they shook hands after the match. Yes, that was a big mm-hmm. thing because uh, normally Asuka doesn't shake hands. No. She's on several occasions. Mm-hmm. Um, I think she shook hands with Ember Moon. Yeah. Right. And now Bailey. I think yeah. that was the only one. Yeah, and it made actually... it a big point is that Bailey was, or Asuka was the one to defeat Bailey for the yes. NXT title. They did women's mention title. that during, Yeah. And that started that her. her well, it didn't start her. Oh, it started her five, title reign. Yeah, yeah title reign. Twenty-four, whatever it was. It was reign. five something. Yeah, that's yeah. astounding. Mm-hmm. But cool that they kind of kept it, you know, a thing. It oh. wasn't just you know uh, something they ignored. Yeah, right. It's true. <clears throat> All right. So up next, mm-hmm. we have a uh, a bar promo. They're yep. sitting in the the stands in the arena, mm-hmm. and uh, they basically... they basically said that they beat them at Royal Rumble and they'll do it again tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing's gonna change. Yeah. All right, up next we have the, uh, was it the fifth person qualifying yes. for the Elimination Chamber? The final, well, not no. the final. The, yeah, the, yeah, the fifth. Yes, of, fifth. Yeah. Uh, it was The Miz versus Apollo Crews. Mm-hmm. Um, not really a surprise here at the outcome. Yeah. Um, Apollo looked good, though. Yeah, no, they made absolutely. made him look really good, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then Miz cut a promo before the match saying whatever since he's been back things have mm-hmm. been right back on track and yeah you know. and the reason why he is the uh the a-lister blah mm-hmm. blah blah yeah um oh then he talked about uh his show i guess they're gonna be filming at wrestlemania weekend yeah. or it's gonna debut WrestleMania um, weekend. I don't he remember. said that the cameras will be there they're, okay that, i that's think that's what, what he really said mm-hmm. about it and he said that his daughter will be born mm-hmm. <laughs> um you watched that total divas right no oh you didn't no okay. i am still a few weeks behind gotcha um so but yeah, like I said, they made Apollo look very good in this match. Mm-hmm. Um, he came out with Titus Worldwide, uh, yeah. Titus and uh, Dana. Dana Brooke, uh, and just Bo Dallas. I, I, they, I think they said something about Curtis Axel, but I don't uh, remember I don't what know. it was. I noticed it in the beginning, and that was that. Yeah, was well, it didn't play much of a part. They didn't get no, involved. No, they didn't get involved at all. Um, uh, so Apollo was going for I, I don't, going for something off the top rope, and the Miz knocked him into the top rope, mm-hmm. and he straddled the top rope you know and uh he falls over he mm. stumbles he gets hit with the skull fr- crushing finale takes the pin yeah and the miz is going on so the intercontinental title will not be defended so, at elimination chamber i was originally i was like oh man i'd like to see apollo cruz in this because he, he's athletic and everything and he tried to kill himself in the elimination chamber 
Um, and then I was like, you're not going to build an intercontinental title match in three weeks. Mm. There's nobody to really build a, a match Every, with. Everyone who would be in it is in, right. the, in the title picture, mm-hmm. in the, the chamber picture. Right. I guess. So. Um, is this when we got word about the match next week? Uh, that was six, later on. Was it, it was later on? Mm-hmm. Did you, you didn't, no, I didn't we can, mention We can it. talk about it now since it's... Yeah. It's, um, there's no other mention of it yeah. later on. All right, so the sixth person in the elimination match will be a uh, second chance. Yes. So it'll be, what, Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt versus, versus Matt. Matt Hardy versus Apollo Crews? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um seems pretty clear Finn's going to win and be the sixth member. Um, yeah, I, I think this is probably from the fans, maybe the the out, you know, the backlash from... Finn losing to Cena, or you think it was their plan all along? It had to be the plan. I just feel like it it should have been, they should have went about it a little differently. Well, like have Finn beat Apollo Crews or something like that. No, that would have made more sense and had Cena lose a match, maybe. Or, no, have Cena beat Bray Wyatt. But Bray already, you know what I mean? Yeah. Who is going to be the sixth person? Uh, I guess so. Unless you put Goldust up against somebody. Yeah. Like, that would be the only thing you could do at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, I honestly thought that Seth would have been in this match but yeah. instead of The Miz, mm-hmm. but he wasn't. So. Yeah, which apparently they, there was rumors going around that he had a back injury or he was As dealing well. Yeah, he was dealing with back problems, and then he took to Twitter and said, nope, fake news. I was going to say obviously not because, you know, he went on a uh, suicide dive uh, streak oh, yeah. during his match mm-hmm. later on. Um, yeah. So... So right. yeah, yeah. So backstage, um, what was it was Kurt Angle, Jason Jordan, and the trainer standing there, right? And then when Seth walked up and goes, "Oh, you ready for the match?" He's like, "I was I was stretching before and felt something felt weird." So I went to the trainer's room and they didn't clear me to wrestle. It's true, he's not lying. Kurt says yes, and he's it, like, "That's pretty bad." You're just gonna have to forfeit the match, I guess, Seth, and then. There's a man in the distance, I guess, off the, off camera. <laughs> and then Seth, you see Seth turn, and Roman walks up, and they just look at Kurt, and Kurt goes... Yeah, like, it was it was weird. I, Son I, of a bitch! I was honestly expecting them to do the um, not show who it is until they come out thing. Yeah. It Although it was kind of obvious it was going to be him. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, because I was like, I was just thinking, I was like, there's nobody left. That's It's a returning Dean Ambrose. He wasn't actually hurt. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be Grand Metal League, <laughs> sure. <laughs> so that match happened next. Yep, uh, we got the Bar against the Reunited Shield. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the Shield was on top for oh, they, most part. They, they went were to dominating. Commercial yeah. came back, and then Roman was dead, and Seth was getting <laughs> beat up. Yeah, and then at that point, that's when Jason jo- you see Jason Jordan start walking out, and he's yeah. like, "Come on, guys, let's yeah. go." He was coming out for moral support. Yeah um and then because range was down and then all of a sudden he notices jason jordan so he's like get the hell out of here just go to the back yeah um uh, and then he goes to leave mm-hmm. oh the referee notices him. oh no 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 yeah, that yeah, was yeah. before right. roman yes. told him to leave oh no the ref said what are you doing out here because he like was oh that's like, when he grabbed uh seamus or cesaro's leg i guess so yeah um, and then he, he, the ref tells him to stop or whatever. And then Roman goes like, what are you even doing out mm-hmm. here? Um, and then he goes to leave. Right. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it looks like, uh, oh yeah. Then Reigns gets the hot tag mm-hmm. and they take out Sheamus, I believe. Um, they go for the, the shield power bomb mm-hmm. or I guess the, you know, the two person power bomb. Um, and then at that point, uh, Cesaro grabs Sheamus before they're able to get him up. Um, and then they're on the outside. And then they just grab the titles. They walk towards the entrance. Mm-hmm. And Jason True. Jordan's like, get back in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> and then Jason Jordan punches. Yeah. Unwarrantedly, he, mm-hmm. he attacks the bar. So yep. and then they're like, oh, okay, we, we'll leave now. <laughs> and then, they, yeah, they run to the entrance ramp celebrating. and. Yep. George, uh, Rollins and Reigns, like, the hell, yeah. man. Obviously, uh, they get disqualified because of outside interference. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, yeah, the bar has retained their championship, and Seth Rollins will no longer have an opportunity at the Raw Take Team titles. Well, probably as long as As long Cesaro, as Sheamus and yeah. Cesaro mm-hmm. are the champion. Cesaro. Yes. And uh, so, yeah. Yeah. 
I, I must have missed this phone promo as well. I don't know what was going on. I don't know. So uh, Braun has a phone in front of his face. Mm-hmm. And uh, basically he said that I'm going to be the last man standing forever. Yeah, because he said that last week I was the last man standing against Kane. Tonight I'll be the last man standing in my triple threat match. And at the Elimination Chamber I'll be the last man standing. And then at uh, WrestleMania I will defeat Brock Lesnar and be the last man standing once again. Oh, okay. Maybe I did see that then. It sounds familiar now. Yeah, well, well, it was probably just on in the background. Like I was just like, definitely yeah, possible. But yeah, it was pretty mm-hmm. cut, cut and dry yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh, this this was pretty good actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jason Jordan and Seth are backstage. Seth is obviously upset about oh, yeah. the events bit. that transpire, mm-hmm. and he starts yelling at Jason Jordan, saying, "You know, if you weren't injured by them, you'll or I should have been the one to injure you, basically." Mm-hmm. Um, and then. Kurt's getting pissed, and then just, Rollins basically tells him, right, to get the hell out of here, and then Kurt goes, or I think Jason was saying something to Kurt. To, yeah, he's uh, like, oh, I, well, I didn't was, mean it. Yeah, it was just an accident. Kurt goes, no, 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 no. go home. Mm-hmm. Not needed here. Yeah, don't come back until you're medically cleared. That's right. Which is them, I guess, officially writing him off TV. I guess. Or having him getting involved in something else that happens in the future. That's true. Um but, like, not right away. There was, I think Jason Jordan's wife had spoke out on either Instagram or Twitter or something like that saying that Jason Jordan's injury is not that serious and he will be back shortly. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Um, Who knows? I yeah. know there's been a lot of different reports on, like, the severity. Right. There's, just like Seamus. Yeah. Well, with Seamus, it, I don't think there was any disputes of it. He's just still wrestling, yeah, right? Yeah, I think that's just the surprising fact. Yeah. yeah. Well, at least now you and Jason Jordan both have something in common. You're both told to go home. <laughs> wow, that was mean. <laughs> oh, that man. Was, that was a callback right there. Yeah. Old no, school. No one else knows what you're nope, talking about. Nope, exactly. That. That's fine. <laughs> anyway. Yep. What's up so, next? Nia, Nia Jax. Yeah, she beats a, a local enhancement talent. I guess since we have nothing for Nia right now. We'll Which is surprising. Build her up a little bit. Because this wasn't even... This was the second of three women's matches. Yeah. So. Yep. It, which is kind of weird because mm-hmm. usually they kind of do this. For yeah. A so there was five thing. segments in, mm-hmm. in total. Yeah. That's impressive. Good. Good for them. Yeah. So. Um, so yeah. After the match, Renee mm-hmm. Young comes out, asks her about her elimination chamber match yeah. against Oscar. She basically says that she's the only one in the locker room that does not fear Oscar. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Oh, and she also says that after her match, Oscar's going to want to wear her mask for good. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes, she did say that. Mm. It, was, it wasn't bad. It felt more real. Yeah. Like it wasn't completely scripted lines like it, Nia's usually fed. Yeah. Also, she said that uh, Oscar will be known as the Empress of Yesterday. Mm-hmm. That's right. It's, it's kind of corny, but it wasn't terrible. No. For wrestling standards, it wasn't bad. What do they call her now? What Never is her tomorrow? No, no, not Asuka, Naya. Oh, the irresistible. The, yeah, uh, I don't, I don't get that. Force, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. I don't get that. Mm. Uh, I guess eventually she'll team with the immovable object, being Braun Strowman. <laughs> is that what you think they're going for? Or have no them idea. face each other? It was just like it started coming out of nowhere. Because then isn't it the? Uh, isn't it the? Maybe it's not irresistible force. Maybe they just made that up. I know they there's just a started. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they were just. No, but I thought that, that was a saying though. Irresistible force against the immovable object is not a thing. It sounds I don't right. I think it's that. Ah, right, whatever. I don't we'll think irresistible it. force. I know no, it sounds dumb. I mean, that sounds like a. All right. Move on. Yes. So up next we had another women's match. Yes. Um, this was Sonya Deville versus Mickey. Um, Mickey stole a victory here with a roll up. Mm-hmm. And then she gets jumped afterward by the rest of Absolution, a.k.a. just uh, Mandy Rose, because... Well, there's no one else. Paige, she was out there. Paige was out there. Yeah, that was strange. But she can't do anything. It's true. I'm surprised she's kind of doing it still. Mm-hmm. I figured she would just be they like, just drop it. if I can't wrestle, I don't want to be on TV. Yeah. Even though technically she's contractually obligated. Mm-hmm. Hmm, but yeah, you, You're right. I know. I already... Yeah. It's just, I think they use irresistible in no, a they, different yes, sense. Yes, they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I could have swore. I thought that... you were talking about WWE context. Act- no, oh, no, no, okay. No, no, All right. No, no. Very good. I, I knew it was a, a, some kind of saying or a, a thing, but. A thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh... Oh, yeah. So after, as Mickey's getting beat down by DeVille and Rose, mm-hmm. uh, 
Alexa Bliss comes out for the save. Yeah, this was obviously a she's trying to make advers uh, friends friends for the elimination chamber. Yeah, well, because that's Alexa Bliss. Mm-hmm. Because she doesn't Nia have a friend night. Yep. Yeah, Nia Jax won't be in the match, so mm-hmm. Mickey James is her next. Because uh, obviously she's not going to win over Sasha or Bailey. She brought Mickey James back. She did. Mm-hmm. They'll probably bring that up next week. Oh, absolutely. Um, and obviously so, Absolution isn't going to be friends yeah. with her. No. Which, although that would kind of be fitting if Alexa took over for Paige, you know that would probably, or they're just gonna have Deville and Rose get into it at the Elimination Chamber and disband Absolution. Mm-hmm. Well, what would what would like come of that? Well, you could just write off Paige after. Oh, that. Oh, oh, you mean yeah. just not have Paige? Right. And, I right. guess that's probably where they would lead. I mean, to. What else are you gonna have her do? I mean, unless she does like a commentary or something like that. I w- I would imagine she would just stick with the manager's role for yeah. a, a time, even have her pair with like a a, a male superstar. Mm-hmm. I don't know who would make sense for her. But... Sister Abigail. Yeah, because <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> It's too late for that. Uh, Alexa Bliss was supposed to be uh, Sister Abigail. Everybody was supposed to be Sister Abigail. It's true. Except uh-huh. for Bray. Bray was not supposed to be Sister Abigail. <laughs> and he was the one that was going to become mm-hmm. Sister Abigail. All right, let's move on. Uh, what were we, yeah, what were we talking Oh, so <clears throat> one thing. Uh, so next week, or the, probably probably next week, we'll have a uh, similar match for the Women's Elimination Chamber for the last person to come out, or is the champion going to come out last? Oh, um, they might not bring it up and it'll just be random yeah and but it'll probably it'll, be bliss no no Mm-mm. well it depends if she's gonna retain the title then yes if she won't then she'll be like one of the first because sasha will probably be the iron woman in the match i would imagine that yeah. it's gonna be sasha against um one of the maybe absolution. mickey yeah. or uh, one of the absolution people that's um, true i would imagine mandy or sonia will be the first one of the first two eliminated yeah um and then it could come down to I, I, I think that Bliss probably will be the last one no matter what. Now mm-hmm. that I think about it. I feel like that makes the most sense. And if it's a champion's disadvantage, you would think you'd, you know, I mean, she's there's got, been times where the champion was the first one in. Yeah. I think John Cena right. was one but, of the first. Ones but I feel last like year. Alexa Bliss would try to fight it at least that way. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. They, like you're they, putting me in this match. At least let me be the last person to it, come in. It could be that there's some kind of, like. It might come up next week. Right. I don't know if they'll have any match or anything, mm-hmm. but we'll see. All right. Let's move on to the main event. Yes. So Elias comes out, starts singing his song, and as soon as he mentions Braun Strowman's <laughs> name, any cheer or... One away. Yep, gone. Yep. Right so to pretty booze. Because yeah. for the most part, the fans have gotten behind him. Yeah, absolutely. They cheered as soon as he came out. They yeah. knew it was him. So, uh, but now... Yeah, he obviously doesn't have the quite the popularity of mm-hmm. Braun Strowman, which no. is makes sense. Everybody loves Braun Strowman. Yeah. Everyone likes watching him beat people up. It's true, and we got to see that in the main event. We did. So the main event was Elias versus Braun Strowman versus John Cena, and the winner would be the last one to enter the Elimination Chamber match. Yes. Uh, so, also in case you didn't know. Uh, over half the time, the person who came in fifth or sixth in the Elimination Chamber match has won. Really? They kept on saying that I over and over last night. Corey don't Gers said it at least ten times. Them. I try not at to. At least ten times. Try not to. I was so. just so focused on Elias winning. I was pulling for him. Because <laughs> uh, going into this, you kind of have to think, like, well... It only made sense. Because with Braun, that kind of just guarantees a victory. Right. And Cena, he's more of the underdoggy kind of guy mm-hmm. anyway. Um, so like, I guess Elias kind of makes sense, right. but at the same time, you know, he's not going to win. So what's the it's point true. of giving it to him? No, I, I got you. Really what they did was they were looking for a main event for tonight. So mm-hmm. they did this. And they said, Hey, you know what? Just do this. Yeah. So Cena and Elias decided to put their differences aside for a couple minutes and mm-hmm. team up against Strowman. That's the only way was, to take him down. It's true. Um, well, they kept throwing him into the ring post, right? And then... Mm-hmm. Uh, barricade, barricade, stairs. yep. Uh, and then Elias hit Strowman with a guitar, yes. and Cena hit Strowman with an AA onto, onto the, the ring steps. steps. Yep. Mm-hmm. So then Cena and Elias battled in the ring for a little bit, mm-hmm. and then Braun emerged, came in, hit Cena with the power slam. Elias threw somehow. Elias <laughs> is able to throw Braun out of the ring, and 
pinned Cena and stole a victory. Honestly, I wouldn't have been surprised if he did that and Braun was back in the ring before the ref even <laughs> started counting. Just missed it, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, just, just so quickly, because he was barely phased by getting thrown out mm-hmm. by him. And then, after the match, the people got what they wanted. Yep, Braun. So the match ended, what, two minutes after 11? Or something like that? It was, it was pretty early. And then Braun just gave everybody power slams, yep. like he normally does, mm-hmm. and the people went home happy. Yes, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> they ended it with a uh with the good guy going over mm-hmm. i guess technically because i don't know how many people consider john cena the good guy anymore that's true because there's a lot of john cena sucks chance oh yeah so while people might not inherently dislike the man it's very easy to boo him <sighs> absolutely and that's that's the reason he gets done that's true somebody's got to join in the let's go cena cena sucks chant um it's going to be interesting how they book the Elimination Chamber. Um, well, Roman's going to come out fifth, and he's going to win. Well, I, I realize that, mm-hmm. but it is a shame that it's this predictable. But, I mean, hell, they could always surprise us. You never know. Who who else is going to face Brock <laughs> Lesnar? Elias. No. <laughs> come on. The Miz. That's it uh apollo cruz next week when he gains victory everyone has a fighting chance except for elias in that match all right so finn's finn wins next week do we see the demon in the chamber no absolutely not because he's not gonna win yeah well that and the fact that it doesn't make any sense because he's what is he gonna get it and get up into the get up or get up into the get up get into the get up (laughs) And then sit in the pod for 20 minutes? No, he's just going to do his makeup in the pod. Oh, that would make more <laughs> sense. Be, make better use of his time. Yeah, but so I think for a WrestleMania match with Finn, it should either be Demon versus Cena or Finn versus Miz. And you can build both those matches coming out of the chamber. Well, it's true because they're both going to be in the mm-hmm. match. Also, this is the second you know, Elimination Chamber match uh, in a row that it's, Miz has been in. And Cena, yeah. Yes, so. Which is a little surprising because I don't think we expected him to be in either of them because I think he went in mm-hmm. as IC champ both times. Yeah. I believe right. so. Yeah, I think you're right. Because that... No, 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 Dean was. Because that started the Dean and Corbin feud. Oh, yeah, but Dean was in it anyway. Mm-hmm. So the IC champ was in the, the match no matter right. what last year. So All right, we're rambling on. Okay. All right, so that was our Raw review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.